This is a day I've been looking forward to for two and a half years. Every once in a while, a revolutionary product comes along that changes everything. And Apple has been, well, first of all, one's very fortunate if you get to work on just one of these in your career. Apple's been very fortunate. It's been able to introduce a few of these into the world. In 1984, we introduced the Macintosh. It didn't just change Apple. It changed the whole computer industry. In 2001, we introduced the first iPod. And it didn't, just, it didn't just change the way we all listen to music. It changed the entire music industry. Well, today, we're introducing three revolutionary products of this class. The first one is a widescreen iPod with touch controls. The second is a revolutionary mobile phone. And the third is a breakthrough internet communications device. So, three things. A widescreen iPod with touch controls, a revolutionary mobile phone, and a breakthrough internet communications device. An iPod, a phone, and an internet communicator, an iPod, a phone. Are you getting it? These are not three separate devices. This is one device. And we are calling it iPhone. Today, Today, Apple is going to reinvent the phone. Third thing I want to talk about a little is design. We've designed something wonderful for your hand. Just wonderful. And this is what it looks like. It's got a three and a half inch screen on it. It's really big. And it's the highest resolution screen we've ever shipped. It's 160 pixels per inch. Highest we've ever shipped. It's gorgeous. And on the front, there's only one button down there. We call it the home button. It takes you home from wherever you are. And that's it. Let's take a look at the side. It's really thin. It's thinner than any smartphone out there at 11.6 millimeters. Thinner than the Q, thinner than the Blackjack, thinner than all of them. It's really nice. And we've got some controls on the side. We've got a little switch for ring and silent. We've got a volume up and down control. Let's look at the back. On the back, the biggest thing of note is we got a two megapixel camera built right in. The other side, and we're back on the front. So let's take a look at the top now. We've got a headset jack, three and a half millimeter, all your iPod headphones fit right in. We've got a place, a little tray for your SIM card, and we've got one switch for sleep and wake. Just push it to go to sleep, push it to wake up. Let's take a look at the bottom. We've got a speaker, we've got a microphone, and we've got our 30-pin iPod connector. So that's the bottom. Now, we've also got some stuff you can't see. We've got three really advanced sensors built into this phone. The first one is a proximity sensor. It senses when physical objects get close. So when you bring iPhone up to your ear to take a phone call, it turns off the display and it turns off the touch sensor instantly. 
Well, why do you want to do that? Well, one, to save battery, but two, so you don't get spurious inputs from your face into the touchscreen. Just automatically turns them off, take it away, boom, it's back on. So it's got a proximity sensor built in. It's got an ambient light sensor as well. We sense the ambient lighting conditions and adjust the brightness of the display to match the ambient lighting conditions. Again, better user experience saves power. And the third thing we've got is an accelerometer so that we can tell when you switch from portrait to landscape. It's pretty cool. I'll show it to you in a minute. So three advanced sensors built in. Now, I've got some special, special iPhones up here. They've got a little special board in them and a, so I can get some digital video out. And I've got a little cord here which goes up to these projectors. And uh, so I got some great images, and you get to see what it really looks like. So let me, I've got a camera here so you can see what I'm doing with my finger for a few seconds. And uh, let me go ahead and get that picture within picture up. I'm going to go ahead and just push the sleep wake button. And there we go, right there. And to unlock the phone, I just take my finger and slide it across. All right? You want to see that again? Go to sleep. We wanted something that you couldn't do by accident in your pocket. And just slide it across, boom. And this is the home screen of iPhone right here. And so if I want to get in the iPod, I just go down that lower right hand corner and push this icon right here, and boom, I'm in the iPod. I want to get home, I push the home button right here, and I'm home. Back in the iPod, I'm back in the iPod. Now here I am, you can see five buttons across the bottom, playlists, artists, songs, videos, and more. I'm an artist right now. Well, how do I scroll through my list of artists? How do I do this? I just take my finger and I scroll. That's it. Yeah, pretty nice. Now, let me show you something else. I just take my unit here and I turn it landscape mode, oh look what happens. I'm in cover flow. Well, let's go into Dylan here. Let's play like a Rolling Stone. I just thumb through. Thumb through my albums. It's real easy. Anytime I find something I like, I can just turn it around. Play something. It's that easy. I walk a lonely road, the only one that I have ever known. Don't know where it goes, but it... It's that simple. Isn't that great? Yeah. I've also got videos here. So I push videos, and uh, I've got here, I've got a podca video podcast loaded on, and a music video, and I've got a TV show and a movie, and I'd like to just show you the uh, TV show here. This is an episode from The Office. All videos we look at in, uh, in landscape. Now, an NBC presentation. The bright side is, you're back, and made it off. Now this is a widescreen movie, so I just double tap, and I can see the whole thing here or I can fill up the screen, whichever I like. And again, I've got on-screen controls here. Isn't this cool? So we can be watching feature-length movies just like this. All righty. So that is the iPod. Pretty cool, huh? We've just started. So again, touch your music. Just scroll through your songs, scroll through your playlists. It's incredible. Widescreen video like you've never seen on a portable device, 160 pixels per inch. Gorgeous screen quality. Gorgeous album art and cover flow. It's the best iPod we've ever made. Again, some of the screenshots. It's unbelievable. So, 
the iPhone with the most amazing iPod ever. You can now touch your music. So that's the iPod. Now, let's take a look at a revolutionary phone. We want to reinvent the phone. Now, what's the killer app? The killer app is making calls. It's amazing. It's amazing how hard it is to make calls on most phones. Most people actually dial them every time. Most people don't have very many numbers in their address book. They use their recents as their address book, right? How many of you do that? I bet more than a few. So we want to let you use contacts like never before. You can sync your iPhone with your PC or Mac and bring down all your contacts right into your phone. So you've got everybody's numbers with you at all times. We have something that's going to revolutionize voicemail today. We call it visual voicemail. Wouldn't it be great if you, didn't, if you had six voicemails, if you didn't have to listen to five of them first before you wanted to listen to the sixth? Wouldn't that be great if you had random access voicemail? Well, we've got it. Just like email, you can go directly to the voicemails that interest you. We have decided, we've decided to go with the most popular international standard, which is GSM. We're on that bandwagon, headed on that roadmap, and uh, plan to make uh, 3G phones and all sorts of other amazing things in the future. So quad bed, GSM plus Edge. And of course, we have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 2.0 EDR built in as well. And so this is what it looks like when you get a call. This is what it sounds like. It's one of our ringtones you can pick, of course. So let's go to our phone first. You see that uh, icon in the lower left-hand corner, the phone? I just push it right here, and boom, I'm in the phone. And I've got five buttons across the bottom. Favorites, recents, contacts, keypad, and voicemail. I'm in contacts right now again. How do I move around my contacts? I just scroll through them. And so let's say I want to make a call to Johnny Ive. I can just push here, and I see Johnny Ive's contacts with all his information, his three phone numbers, his email, whatever else, his address, whatever else I've got, it's all in one place. And if I want to call Johnny, all I do is push his phone number. I'll call his mobile number right now. And now we are calling Johnny here. Hey, Johnny, how you doing? I'm good. How you doing? Well, it's been two and a half years, and I, I can't tell you how thrilled I am to make the first public phone call with iPhone. <laughs> I, I remember when we first started working on this, and it's just, it's just unbelievable. Whoa, whoa, what is this? I've got another call coming in. Johnny, can I put you on hold for a minute? Yeah, sure. OK. So I put Johnny on hold, and hi, Phil. Oh, Steve, I wanted to be the first call. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Phil. As you can see, it's put, it's put Johnny on hold. And Phil, I can just touch Johnny and bring Johnny back. Hey, Johnny, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Hey, listen, uh, Phil called. Uh, do you mind if I uh, conference him in? <laughs> Get a call. Again, really great call management features. Just scroll through contacts with your finger. All the information at your fingertips here. Favorites, last century, visual voicemail, calendar. SMS texting, an incredible photo app, the ability to just take any picture and make it your wallpaper. It's pretty unbelievable. And I think when you have a chance to get your hand on it, you'll agree we have reinvented the phone. Okay. <laughs>